So by default, if you have signed in uh, in Microsoft Windows 11 by using your Microsoft account, then chances are the OneDrive is already active. So if I were to go on to the file uh, explorer right here, on the left side, you can see OneDrive right here. And if you were to access it, you can access your OneDrive folders right here. So over here in OneDrive, you can see that there's desktop and there's Microsoft as a shortcut right here. So this is not your actual desktop, but it is actually OneDrive. So you can see that whatever you see over here in OneDrive, it is actually synchronized onto the web as a backup. So you can go around over here on your OneDrive right here and create, let's say, for example, a new folder. And what happens is that it stays within the OneDrive on your cloud drive right here, which is syncing out. It does maintain a local copy as well, but the main purpose of OneDrive is to save everything to the cloud account. So in free, uh, uh, in the in the free OneDrive uh, account, you get up till five gigabytes and you can subscribe uh, to more than five gigabytes if you pay a certain fee to it. So over here, you can also maintain out how you can sync things to OneDrive. So over here, you can see that there's OneDrive personal right here. So you can see it over here. You can also click on the So Hidden Icons app if you don't see it over here. And it, this suggests that OneDrive is running. So by default, OneDrive runs if you're using Microsoft account, as I mentioned before as well. So you can right click over here. And once you right click, you can go around into help and setting right here. So once you go around over here, you can see that this is what you have. You can go around into settings and you can go to backup option right here. And what you can do is you can manage backup as you can see. So over here, you can see that these folders are currently being backed up as you can see. So you can stop the backup as well. So you can stop desktop backup or document backup right here or any picture backup if you want to. So once you click stop, what happens is that you can stop the backup and it won't back up the picture folder anymore. So you can go around over here onto picture and then click on start backup to uh, start backup again, as you can see right here. So that is how you can set up the backup option right here, just like this inside of OneDrive to backup out different things. You can go around into manage backup and then go around with, uh, go around uh, setting the option for it. So that is how you can access out your OneDrive content and then manage the backup settings uh, inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.